Oh, now the bees are gone too. If this keeps up, we'll be the only animals left. <laughs> but the flowers need the bees. That's right, Chigua. All of nature is connected by an invisible thread. Once you break it, things can fall apart. If we were the only animals left, it would be awful around here. Dongwa! Dongwa, there you are! Tichenshi Masters? Maybe tomorrow. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe next time. Dongwa, that wasn't very nice. What difference does it make? He's moving anyway. I know it's hard when friends leave. Especially Xiaobao. He was really fun, and it's hard to make new friends. You're right. But you know what? I'm sure it's pretty hard for Xiaobao, too. Especially moving all the time. Yeah, I guess. Let's see tonight's menu for the banquet. Bird's nest soup, imperial vegetables, roast duck, and cassia flower cakes. Yum! Makes you hungry, doesn't it? What's the matter with Dongwa? I think he's sad because Xiao Bao is leaving tonight. I'm just not hungry, that's all. Uh oh. I hope my new robe is as glorious as you promised. Your Grace, I must explain. <laughs> Don't be modest. I'm sure it's the finest robe in all of China. <gasps> but what is the meaning of this? It's not even finished. There's been a shortage of silk, Your Grace, since you banished the silkworms. Silkworms? You mean those ugly insects made my beautiful silk? Mm hmm. Oh, well. There's still a wonderful meal to enjoy. I've been looking forward to this delicacy all year. Bird's nest? Why, this is a simple broth. What happened to the bird's nest soup? A thousand pardons, Your Grace. But since the swiftlets were banished, there were no... Bird's nests for the soup. It must be time for the cassia flower cakes. Ah, yes, I almost forgot. Mmm, that will make up for everything. But there's something missing. It's so, so... Bland. I did my best, Your Grace. But there's no honey since you... Banished the... Bees. It, um, it was a lovely banquet tonight, wasn't it, my perfect peach? Well, yes, I, uh, <clears throat> guess it could have been better. It was a disaster, and it's all my fault. And yours. Oh, what am I saying? I've made a terrible mistake. Birds, bees, worms. I never stopped to think that my selfish needs would make such a mess. It's not too late, my fastidious fungi. We can always bring those creatures back. Yes, of course. We've got to send that message out tonight. We're so glad you changed your mind. Now we can have all the silk robes, honey, and bird's nest soup we want. <laughs> I know you miss those things. And you probably never even thought about where they came from, unlike me. But, dear daughters, perhaps we should be less focused on what these creatures give us and think more about the delicate balance of nature that they help create. The message is all ready to go. But I'm afraid we'll have to wait until morning for the messenger to carry it to oh. the next province. There must be some way to deliver that message right now. It is time you were more than just the most beautiful bird in China. Do something useful around here for a change. Now go! <laughs> shoo, shoo! I can't wait for our friends to come back. I never thought any of them were ugly.
I'm just glad Tai Tai changed her mind before it was too late. And they were gone forever. I thought you didn't want to be my friend anymore. No, I guess I just didn't want to say goodbye. This is for you. Whoa! Thank you, Dongwa! To Chen Shu Masters? No one is faster! <laughs> <laughs>